Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to revisit cutting glass. In this case, we're going to cut a mirror today, or a small mirror at that, uh, the similar one that I used in the laser experiment. Uh, however, this time I've cut out a little bit more, or I'm intending to cut out a little bit more complex objects. So I've created this object in Inkscape. Uh, in short, just joining a 3 and a D together, obviously 3D along with a base to kind of hold them together. And then what, I, what I've what i done is I've exported these as an EPS file. And from this EPS file, I've taken this into Cut 2D, and you can see the structure here. I've created two, two, two I'll spit it out, tool paths. Uh, one for the inside cut of the D area here inside the ring. And then an outside portion you see here that cuts the outside. So one of the things that I did when I structured the inside cuts is actually inside the line that I'm cutting outside of the line. You can see that represented by here, the tool path inside versus the tool path out. Um, I'm utilizing the um, same glass cutting tool path that I used in the prior episode. So uh, in short, this one right here, an end path, it's a 1.587 end mill and I'm doing a 0.1 pass and I'm doing this at uh, 10 millimeters a second feed rate uh, the plunge rate of one millimeter a uh, second so uh, this is the same one so I'm hoping that this works now I'm going to try a little bit different uh, tactic of cutting this and we'll take a look at that at the machine so tell you what let's cut over to the machine and take a look at it how I got it set up okay so we're back here at the machine so uh, what I've done since the last video is, um, you know, I got thinking. So I designed up that neat uh, 3D printed jig for cutting glass. And I thought, well, what happens if folks don't have um, a 3D printer? How can they also do a similar project? So what I did is went up to the refrigerator, got this out of the refrigerator. This is uh, actually some lunch meat came in this, and so we ate the lunch meat and. So I took this and I epoxied this to a scrap piece of acrylic, which I had uh, laying around. I did a, made sure I got all the way around the perimeter, so in case I do breach this, I'm not going to have, you know, a glass slurry running all over the place, uh, just in case. And then what I've done is I've now taken the mirror, which is a 50 by 50 millimeter mirror, and I've just put masking tape over the top, marked the center, and then what I've done is I've placed double-sided stick tape on the back of it. Now this will lift it up off the bottom which will allow me to pass through a little bit because you can probably see that the tape is almost as thick as the mirror. The mirror is 1.75 millimeters and what I'm going to do is this is now dry. I'm going to actually stick this in the bottom of this and pressure this and stick this down to the base of this. And then what I'm going to do is align my, my CNC to center it on this and then go ahead and fill this with water and a little detergent. So um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get all that set up that's not that exciting and then we'll come back and we'll run this job and see what this looks like. Okay, we're back at the bench. So here's what we came up with uh, as we cut this out. I wouldn't say it was a total success. The D got cut out pretty good, and you can see it's still stuck to the, the paper or the tape. But what happened is, and I didn't quite, uh, I'm not sure if I fully calculated this out, but the detergent, I don't know if you saw in the time lapse, lifted up the cover tape on this really quick. Um, you know about the, after the first pass it pulled up so I, I reached in there and with a screwdriver popped it out but one of the things you see this piece here is um, it kind of gouged this when it when it bro finally really broke through on the first turn of this because you can see here um, where it kind of broke through and then it hit this tape when it hit the tape it just pulled the tape it just pulled this right up off the bed of the uh, 
uh, the Tupperware thing or whatever, the lunch meat container. So I think the problem with that is, is there definitely needs to be some sort of downward pressure on this. In other words, um, I don't think the tape will work as far as holding it in. Um, so I probably wouldn't go with the tape. Uh, again, I'd come up with something that, that for, again, from the top holds pressure down. Uh, I think if that would have happened, it would have been pretty good. Now, there does seem to be some tear out. And it's probably because this is a bit cheaper mirror. Um, I'll see if I can't zoom in, but there is some tear out from the back or uh, because of that. Now, I think you could probably maybe fix that. Uh, the rest of the cut is actually pretty good, and you could clean that up. So, um, you know, I wouldn't call it a complete failure, but I did, did definitely learn something. This won't hold in there. And especially with the detergent, I think the detergent actually breaks it up. But the other piece with this, when the bit uh, came down and caught the longer piece here, is when it pulled up. So, uh, because it's still very sticky. And you can see the part of the D is still stuck in there, so um, that didn't come out. So anyways, it's a learning experience, and that's what this is all about. So I kind of want to share it with you uh, guys out there. If you're thinking about doing something like this, this is what you can expect. So I'm going to go back to the drawing board a little bit. You know, I know the other one works, um, so I'll probably go back to experimenting. But I wanted to try something that was a little bit more maybe mundane, if you will. So anyways, uh, hopefully you found this interesting. If you did, hey, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget, subscribe button's coming. Uh, swag shop up there. And hey, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.